Hey, what's up? In this video, I'll be showing you how to clean and maintain your LG washing machine. You might look at this and think yours looks different to this one. The LG washing machines is the same concept and these principles will carry over onto other models. So this will apply to your model as well. So the first thing you wanna do is press the power on button. So every six months or so, or every 50 or 60 wash cycles, you wanna clean the drum so that you get rid of any soap, any grime, anything that's stuck in there and any mold that starts building up on the seal. So sometimes if you have a look inside the washing machine, just over here on the seal, you start to see that turn black or moldy. You wanna get rid of that and make sure that maybe never develops again. So this is how you take care of that. So if yours is moldy at the moment, this will also help you to take care of that and get rid of that problem. And if yours hasn't developed that problem yet, this will help to prevent that and will keep your washing machine smelling nice and fresh. So what you wanna do on LG washing machines is select the tub clean option, which is on most LG washing machines. If you look around on your washer, there will be a button here that says tub clean. And usually it's a combination of pressing the spin and temperature button, or it will actually tell you what to press and if I move in a bit closer in mine, you'll see which buttons you need to press. So you can see here, it wants me to press these two buttons for about three seconds. So what you do then is press and hold for three seconds and it'll say TCL. So TCL simply means tub clean. So tub clean will be a hot wash with nothing in it and that will take care of any gunk, anything that starts building up because with all the washing powder that you're putting in a washing machine, not all of it dissolves. Some of it stays in the washing machine. So you want to run this cycle so that you take care of all that washing powder, that, that residual softener that's left in the washing machine that starts creating bad autos and starts creating mold on your washing machine. So you select this cycle, this tub clean function. And then if you've got a dishwashing tablet, you can always just chuck it in the uh, drum there and then close the door and start the wash cycle. So what that will do is it's gonna clean all the gunk and everything that's in the washing machine and it'll be nice and fresh when you open it. And I know there's a lot of uh, products out there that teach you that you can use to clean the drum with, but this is one of those methods that will be cheap and easy for you to use. When you're ready to start, you just press the start button and then it's gonna start the whole tub clean process. When it's finished with that wash, when it's finished doing that tub clean function, what you wanna do then is check your filter. So on most LG washing machines, there'll be a filter on the bottom right hand corner. So you wanna make sure you check that filter because that's where things like uh, hairpins, coins, anything you've left in your pockets, it'll all end up in there. So it's either on the right hand side or in this case, the left hand side, it's a little cutout that you can actually flip and open and then access your filter down there. So, so on the bottom right hand or the bottom left hand corner, there will be this filter cap that you'll need to open in order to access the pump of the washing machine. So you just get it. Some of them have a handle that you can push on and pull and if you have a look inside there, there is this little um, cap that you can actually undo by twisting it anti-clockwise. So if you twist it anti-clockwise, it'll come out. You can see there'll be a bit of water. So I'm gonna warn you, maybe get a towel, put it underneath, and then that way you don't have a big cleanup to do. But it's not gonna be a lot of water, it's just gonna be a little bit. And as you can see there, there's already something in there like a little piece of chewing gum, a little piece of tape, a little piece of dirt, if you've gone like uh, tracking and stuff. So what this does is it captures anything that's in the wash that's not water and that prevents it from obstructing your pump. So your pump is what pumps the water out and helps your washing machine to uh, wash properly. So 
there is a need to always check this after you've done that drum clean because if you leave it for too long, you it'll give you an error saying that there's something stuck in there and then you'll go to, oh, I'll open it up and then it'll be just chockers full of stuff in there and then you won't be able to open it. So you wanna make sure that you're checking this maybe every three months or four months, just depending on how often you wash. So always handy to open this. And when you're putting it back in, just make sure you line it up. And there's a rubber seal on this. You wanna wash this out when you take out whatever you take out. And you'll see that there's, a, there's this like rubber seal around it. You wanna make sure that's clean as well before you put it back in there. Otherwise it doesn't seal up properly. Putting it back, you just screw it in, just like a bottle top. Just keep screwing it in until it goes in all the way. And that'll be about it. And then you close it up. Hey, if you found any value in this video, consider subscribing as I do post a lot of videos on how to fix these washing machines, on how to maintain them. And if you ever run into a problem with yours, you never know what might happen with it. I will likely have a fix for it as I do cover a variety of problems on these and how to maintain them. And I might just record a video just for you. And if you found any value as well, just consider uh, smashing that like button as it goes a long way to help this channel and for more people to discover this content and be able to take care of the washing machines and save money in the process. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, cheers.